Let's do this, Mickey. An obese Macaulay Culkin look-alike. Spitting image, but real fat. He called himself Tits McGee. That's how low this pimp chilled. And um, he was psychedelic, man. He rolled around in a like an 87 Oldsmobile, rusted and completely fucked. And it smelled horrible up inside. And that was the whip we'd puff in, taking the holy rides and hot boxing and stuff. You know, sometimes life has spiritual coincidences happen, you know, and Tits McGee had one of those happen. He was a pretty magical dude. He was riding down the road, puffing a big old joint, and he ran into a car, and he gets out of the whip, and it's his dad driving the car in front of him. And he's like, I'm sorry, Dad. And the weed smoke's coming out the whip, and his dad's like, son, you fucked up. Tits McGee was so damn lazy big ass rat crawled up inside the upholstery of his car one time and died. It was summertime and that dead hot rat carcass got real nasty. Started smelling real strong. We'd roll around in his whip. He was too lazy to clean it out. But we'd still hotbox that motherfucker with the hot ass carcass up inside. Now you know when you're riding down the road and you hotboxing and it's hot outside in the summer and you're puffing a pound blunt and you're sitting and you're sitting with your homies and you're rolling and you're sweating your ass off and the pores are opening up and all the weed smoke's going in and you're getting high as hell and you roll down the window and whoo, you're like, damn, it feels so good, you know? But when you do that and there's a hot, dead-ass rat carcass festering up inside, you roll down that window and you go, And believe me, it better not be Valentine's Day. You best not be going on a date that night, or maybe even that year, because your ass is gonna smell like a hot ass rotted carcass. But don't go away, take a hundred showers. Still be stinking. Now, Tess McGee, me and him took a ride down this haunted road one time, first time I ever went down it. This road went on to change my life form all kinds of things, completely like created the hurricane, you know, this holy road had a huge part up in my life, my spirituality, my beliefs, everything, man. I seen all kinds of shit go down on this psychedelic road. But the first time I went down, it was with Pitts McGee. And we saw some shit go down. And that was the beginning, man. So this holy song right here is about that haunted road, man. You know, you, you travel down spiritual roads all the time, whether it's on the, the holy bike, those psychedelic legs, a whip, a train, you know, you never know what that holy road's gonna hold, man. Most of them be haunted too, you know, in one way or another, but they all spiritual and they all off the chain. And you should probably walk down every one if you can, you know what I mean? And you best walk down the holy road tonight and snatch up a holy record from Palberta, or else the ghosts might come and get you or something, you know what I mean? Yeah. And pick up a hurricane vinyl too, or else somebody might break your legs before you leave the show. Yeah, man. I'm looking forward to all the other bands tonight. Love y'all, man. Holy Brooklyn, Bronx, Queens. You know, uh, Holy Harlem. Spiritual Yonkers. <laughs> yeah, man. That's called the Holy Haunted Road, Pimpa Night. I went up on that haunted road with a man named Tits McGee. I went up on that haunted road with a man named Tits McGee. We saw some fools in big white cloaks, but some up in the trees. And I said, Guys, to get away. Gots to get away that dry creek road, one haunted spiritual way. I went up and I took that turn to climb that five town road. Went up and I took that turn to climb that five town road. Found a dead man sitting in a car, yet left a heavy load on my mind. 
guys can get away. Guys to get away that drag creek road one on its spiritual way. That place they call the Zep Spot and got ghosts and killers there. That place they call the Zep Spot got ghosts and killers there. That ghostly car go back and forth, no driver in the chair. And I said, guys to get away. Guys to get away that dry creek road, one haunted spiritual way. If you go up on that haunted road, my friend, if you go up on that haunted road, my friend, the best that said on your goodbye has got the day my Dior end. And I said, Guys to get away. Guys to get away that dry creek road, one haunted spiritual way. Love y'all, man. Stay high as a motherfucker. Peace.